Uh, thank you, Mr. President. And, and now, with regard to the issue at hand, I understand Senator Wyden has priority recognition at this time. And I've been informed that, that uh, he does not object to me entering into the debate at this moment. May I proceed on this amendment? The senator is recognized. Thank you very much. Uh, let me tell you a, a couple of things that this McCain amendment would do. For, for one thing, it's been in the Farm Bill in 2008. It's current, the, the uh, current uh, move to change the inspection from FDA to the Department of Agriculture is in the current Farm Bill, and it's about to take place, so it would revisit the last two Farm Bills. I don't think we should be doing that in a Trade Promotion Authority uh, piece of legislation. Also, it is absolutely not duplicative. I mean, it can be said on the floor of the Senate a uh, hundred times, but the fact is that the USDA catfish inspection program is not duplicative. It transfers inspection from FDA to USDA, and USDA has testified before Congress that when the program is operational, as it is about to be, the FDA program would be eliminated. So why move it from FDA to USDA? And here's the reason. Yeah, it is true that uh, there are a few of us who grow in farms under controlled situations most of the catfish produced in the United States, the state of Mississippi, the state of Arkansas. You'll hear from uh, my distinguished colleagues from Arkansas and Mississippi in a few moments, I hope. But what this is about is food safety for Americans in 50 states who deserve to know that the fish they are eating, that the product they are eating is unadulterated. Now, here are the facts. Under the current FDA program, only about 2% of the billions of pounds of imported catfish are inspected. Only about 2%. The other 98% of this large quantity come in uninspected. Now that gives me pause as a consumer. It should give residents of all 50 states pause that 98% comes in without inspection. But here's what we do know about the 2% we look at under the FDA program. An alarming volume of the catfish inspected by FDA already failed to meet standards. They failed to meet consumer safety standards. Many overseas productions are simply not operated under the sanitary conditions that we insist upon in the United States with our farm-raised catfish. The FDA program does not ensure that trade partners have sufficient health standards, nor does it inspect any overseas aquaculture operations. They don't go over to Vietnam and look at the operation there and see the safety standards that cause the health risks. So what kind of health risks are we talking about, Mr. President? We're talking about cancer. And I have in my hand a page from a draft rule by the Department of Agriculture dated February 10, 2009, a draft rule from the Food Safety and Inspection Service. Now, it turns out, uh, and GAO has been mentioned here, Mr. President, it turns out that GAO uh, got OMB to ask the FSIS to rework this statement and to make it a little softer so we wouldn't go so hard on inspected, on, on imported Vietnamese catfish. But here's what the report that's now been buried says, and I will quote from the report uh, of the Department of Agriculture. Whether or not the agency used random or risk-based samplings, applying the Food Safety Inspection Service Program to imported catfish yielded a reduction of approximately 175,000 lifetime cancers. 175,000 lifetime cancers for Americans. I want that kind of reduction in carcinogens coming into the United States. And 0.79 uh, acute toxicities using random sampling 
in the agency's program yielded a reduction of $91,800,000 exposures to antimicrobials and 23,280,000 heavy metal exposures. We're talking about carcinogens. We're talking about improper antimicrobials that the USDA program would catch and, and uh, over 23 million exposures to heavy metals that we don't need in the United States. Using risk-based sampling yielded a reduction of 95 million 100,000 exposures to antimicrobials. So we're talking about a program that is not going to be duplicative because it's going to move, according to the last two farm bills, from FDA to USDA. So there will be no duplication. This excessive government waste that we've heard about will not exist. But we will have better safety for the consumers of the United States of America. And that's why we don't need to revisit this issue. That's why the McCain Amendment should be rejected. And that's why we should take every precaution that we can to protect the American consumer, whether in their home, kitchens, or in restaurants. I thank you. And I uh, yield the floor. Perhaps other of my colleagues would like to address this issue.